90% of people marry by age 50 in Western cultures. Third grade. 40 to 50% of people in the U.S. get divorced. Seventh grade. 45% 45 of American, of American kids, kids can expect, expect their, their families, families to break, break up before they reach 18. High school. It affects a person differently depending on what stage they're at in their life, too. For children that are smaller, there's a tendency to um, regress developmentally. Like, they, if they're eight then and their parents get divorced, they start acting like they're four. You know, they, they get more dependent and um, it affects development, normal development that, that happens to a person when they're in a, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, a, a family that's not divorced. They develop in a certain way, but if there's a divorce, it interferes with development. When a person is older, like a teenager, the tendency is to become more independent and to just kind of be like, uh, I just, I don't want to deal with that. And so they, they tend to kind of strike out on their own and be more, more independent. Now, even, even people who are adults, if their parents divorce as they're like, you know, over 21, they're living their own life or whatever, it still is huge. It really, it has a huge effect on, um, on a person. It's, it's a loss. It's a, real, it's a lot like a death. Solution number one, prevention. Let's stop divorce before it happens so that we don't need to find a solution to it. This way, children will see the true value of family and never have to deal with the problems that come with divorce. Although there may be a shortage of therapists, there are many programs that couples can do to prevent divorce. PrEP is a program based on 30 years of research in the field of relationship health. The creators believe that one must learn how to have good relationships, like learning other skills in life. Couples Communication Program helps couples map out issues and become effective listeners with each other. 
The practical application of intimate relationship skills, or PEARS, has touched tens of thousands of lives since 1984. Its mission is to create healthy relationships by developing and delivering evidence-based good practices in marriage, family and fatherhood education, research and training instructors. Oh, say, can you see by the tones of the light what so proudly we have at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars. Song of the fair state of mind, Michigan, my Michigan. What a greater song than this is thine, Michigan, my Michigan. The whisper of the forest tree, the thunder of the inland sea, in nine one gram symphony of Michigan, my Michigan. Sing state of all the best, Michigan, my Michigan. Solution 2. Coping Divorces are inevitable, so let's learn to deal with them in an appropriate manner. This way, children will not be deprived the social skills they need to develop. Children who experience divorce can learn to work through and solve their problems. It can prepare them for the reality of imperfect relationships they may have in the future. They will also value independence by seeing their single parents succeed and realize they don't need relationships to feel complete. With divorce, children receive new responsibilities that make them feel more self-sufficient. There are some, um, some good things that come out of it too, particularly like if a marriage is really bad or there's like a lot of fighting or um, there's abuse or like alcoholism or something like that. If the if the marriage is bad, it's a good thing when the people split up because there's a potential for everyone to heal and to get better from it. Um, whereas if two people who are really unhappy and in a bad, bad marriage stay together, then that that that's bad too. You know, I guess it's it's almost like the lesser of two evils. <laughs> Susan Arons, Divorce, the Broken Dream To children, divorce signals the failure of the stereotype of the perfect family. Children see the emotion of their parents more than we believe. Because of this, children feel rejected from information. I don't think I have a single client on my caseload right now that doesn't have experience with divorce in one form or another. Either their parents divorced or they themselves are divorced. Um, so if I had to guess, I'd probably say 95% of the clients that I work with have been touched by divorce in some way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>